Hey babe, we uh we gotta patch these holes in the canvas. We can't forget about that. Okay, no problem. Hey, how's it going, Pop-Up Camper family? Welcome back to It's Poppin', where we talk about everything Pop-Up Camper related. So in this video, I wanna cover how you can repair tears, rips, holes, anything in your Pop-Up Camper canvas or vinyl. So here's what you're gonna do. Go get yourself some uh, duct tape right here and uh, slap it right on there, and you're done. Okay, I'm just kidding. Please don't use duct tape. Maybe in an emergency if that's what you have in your, you know, pop-up camper emergency repair kit. But regardless, we have a myriad of products that we'll go over and there's different things you wanna use for different situations. So as many of you may know, we have a 2008, um, <laughs> I almost said StarCraft. It's a Jayco Select 12HW. So it's a high wall camper. And the vast majority of the canopy material, if you will, is made out of vinyl. So if you watched uh, one of our previous videos, um, about cleaning your pop-up camper canvas and vinyl, there is of course a distinction between the two. And once again, this distinction comes into play if you're gonna be repairing any tears, holes, rips, etc. in each of those individual materials. So when it comes to canvas, these are gonna be on a lot of your older model pop-ups or sometimes in your bunk and windows. Canvas is a pretty simple repair. If you have like a small pinhole in your canvas and you just want to make sure that no water gets into it. Um, a great thing to pick up is some of this Loctite vinyl fabric and plastic. Just a little dab on it and um, that way you can cover up that small pinhole and you want it done. You could do it on both sides or one side. That's totally up to you. The alternative if you have a larger tear or hole in your um, canvas is to pick up one of these iron-on um, patches. So this, of course, you put on the area where you have that hole, apply high heat with an iron, and that will mend that area. And of course, you can put them on, put one patch on each side. That way it um, looks nice and professional once you're done. One more alternative for, um, for canvas, and that is the stuff called Terraid. Now, Terraid makes two different types of material, and in my opinion, it's a touch expensive, but nevertheless, it's an option for you. And the type A here, what I have right here, is made for canvas, nylon, rubber, and plastic. And this stuff is nice because it's easy, you just slap it on. The only uh, downside is that, that it's kind of semi-opaque, so you're gonna be able to see that tear or hole as opposed to some sort of patch where that's gonna cover that up nicely if it's kind of an ugly tear or hole or something like that. So another option is tear aid. Now, let's move on from canvas to vinyl. Vinyl is um, a little trickier in the sense that it's, you have a very, you know, um, you, ha you have, the, well, of course, your vinyl on the exterior and then a little bit more of a coarser fabric-y material on the inside of your vinyl. But once again, if you have um, a small pinhole, you can absolutely use this Loctite like I mentioned before. Let's see if it'll focus on the front there. And right off the bat, it's made for vinyl. So absolutely an option to keep your vinyl waterproof. Now, what we're gonna be doing here today, because we do have some holes in our vinyl, is we're gonna be using one of these self-adhering nylon patches on the exterior of our pop-up and Fortunately, this blue really goes well with the blue we have on our Jayco here. And then on the inside, because it's more of that fabric-y material, and we want to kind of cover up an ugly looking tear, it's, it's just not pretty, we're gonna use one of these fabric um, uh, high heat adhering um, patches on the inside, which will cover up, of course, both of those sides. So, a couple options for vinyl as well. Now, um, going a little further with vinyl, um, 
If you have some smaller tears, you know, not big ones like we're going to be repairing with these patches and not so small that you can repair it with, uh, with the glue, you might want to consider something like this clear waterproof Gorilla Tape. This is actually a pretty inexpensive option that looks well, looks really good. You can barely see it um, because it's clear. And it, like I said, it's watertight and inexpensive. So this is a good option for small tears and we might use some of this today. Now, an alternative to the Gorilla Glue, or not the Gorilla Glue, but the, uh, <laughs> the Gorilla Glue Tape is also a tear aid product, except instead of it being this type A, they also make a type B, which is exclusively for vinyl. And um, I think uh, this stuff is a little bit more flexible. It's extremely sticky, but I don't know if it's quite as robust and durable as some of these um, clear waterproof tapes that are on the market. So we might, uh, we might forego this today. And um, like I said before, try a combination of our, fab our vinyl and fabric glue, our Gorilla Tape, and then as well as our nylon and canvas patches to take care of the, well, actually we have a, we have a couple medium sized holes, a couple of small tears and a couple of pinholes that we have to take care of. So we'll show you how we do it. And I almost forgot about screens. So with screens, there's also a few options, of course. And honestly, the, probably the most robust option would be to pick up some scrap screen and actually sew it onto your pre-existing screen. Now, of course, that takes quite a bit of time and effort to sew screen on if you're gonna do that. However, a pretty quick and expedient option is some of this screen tape. Now, off the top of my head, I believe this is made by a company called RHO, but we'll definitely link to it. And we used some of this on the Palomino project and it seemed to hold up rather well, quite sticky. And it, um, it, it held up to the canvas being, you know, stretched and compressed as you raise a roof and lower it. Um, what we did is we put um, a length of this on both sides of the screen. So it was kind of double screen, but that way we ensured that we would have um, enough coverage. So first thing we're gonna do is mend some of these bigger holes on the vinyl. And here's what we're talking about right here. They're decent size and they look pretty bad. So <laughs> ironically enough, we are actually gonna use some of this duct tape. This is not heavy duty stuff at all, but we're only going to be using it as a backer for that um, iron-on patch on the inside. And then of course, once that iron-on patch is adhered, we'll take the duct tape off and do the appropriate patch on the outside. So before I put this duct tape on, I want to clean off this surface. Um, I'm gonna be using the Super Clean. This is a foaming degreaser, which is kind of nice for keeping uh, keeping the degreaser from running down. So we'll use this, like I said, just to clean off this area that we're gonna be patching. And that way we know we get a good, um, you know, adherence to our vinyl here. So as far as the iron-on fabric patches are concerned, what you're gonna wanna do, obviously follow the uh, instructions, but if they're like ours, they say to preheat your iron um, for five minutes on high or cotton, and then of course apply your iron to that patch for about 45 seconds, and you should be good to go. Stuck. Oh, you're stuck? I got you. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so let's say you have some pre-existing patches on your pop-up camper that either don't look good or maybe failed or something. Now, if there are these tear aids, these are super sticky and the adhesive is very hard to get off, which I suppose that's a good thing for it. Here's what I recommend for getting those off to repatch it. Um, we have this goof off and this is the surface sh safe gel type um, uh, goof off. So it, as far as our canvas has been okay, but obviously always test new products in an inconspicuous area before you use them. But well, what I do is I hit the, um, the patch with the goof off and then use one of these plastic razor blades to kind of get up and behind that and then let the goof off do its work. So you can see how the combination of the goof off with the plastic razor blade really helps get that patch off a lot easier than if you were to just try and tear it off manually. So this does take a while and what I'll do is I'll keep working on this and every once in a while maybe <laughs> maybe try and pull on it and um, maybe add a little bit more goof off as we work our way down. So just be patient with this. Eventually you'll get the rest of it off and we'll uh, I'll keep working on this. So right here we have a perfect tear <laughs> that is perfect for um, the clear Gorilla Tape. That's um, a great size and uh, some Gorilla Tape will tackle that job no problem. So I'll go grab some, throw it on and we'll call it done. So you're gonna wanna touch as little of this as possible because it absolutely shows fingerprints. But if you can just touch the edges, it'll be all right. There you go. And finally, we have a really small pinhole um, and there's actually some on the inside too that we'll show you, but this one's so small you probably can't even see it from there. But we're gonna of course use the um, flexible adhesive here and see how it works. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that come out? <laughs> uh, I don't have any paper towels. I don't even know where it went. Um. It's sticky, oh, right there. See it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so unfortunately we weren't able to show you, or maybe that actually might be fortunate. Fortunately we weren't able to show you an example of a torn or ripped screen or the clear vinyl window material that many of you guys have in your pop-up campers. However, I will say both of those popped up, <laughs> for lack of a better term, um, when we were renovating the Palomino. So I'm not sure exactly what video it is, but we, we repaired both the clear vinyl window as well as the screen in one of those uh, videos in that series. So I will go back and find that for you so you can see what we did in that video exactly. But nevertheless, some examples in this video of how to um, uh, repair, patch, etc. cetera. Um, some larger holes in your vinyl, some smaller holes in your vinyl, along with some really small pin holes. Once again, not much canvas on this particular pop-up here, but um, hopefully, even if you have canvas and have some rips or tears that need to be taken care of, you can find some value in this video. So as always guys, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.